Hello and welcome back. We are at Green Lane again and today we are going to finish the whole entire circuit around the lake. Obviously not all in one walk. We've already done several parts of the lake and today we're going to uh, walk on the red trail. We've done the red trail before when you can see we are here, that little dot or balloon. We walked the red trail down to uh, Hemlock Point Trail and did the Green Lane Connector Trail all the way down into Green Lane before. So now today we're going from that You Are Here balloon and taking that whole entire red trail all the way up to the, um, what's that parking lot? Ward Road parking lot. So this is Knight Road here. We're crossing up there's the parking lot. And here begins our uh, sojourn. So we're gonna have about six miles by the time we get back to the parking lot. Fortunately, a lot of these places we go to aren't loop trails, which are nice because you know you're not seeing the same thing uh, on your way back. But eh, it's, it'll be nice. And a little bit of a uphill, hardly anything. And now we're heading west. Originally we were going, going uh, north. A lot of pine trees. Butterfly, birds chirping. Blue sky, wispy clouds. Couldn't ask for a better day to take off. Look at that pretty tree. Little freckles on the petals. is the lake or a portion of it so right now we're not on the lake we're kind of bypassing going through this wooded area i guess they don't want you walking on the road with that bridge there moss butterfly this is our view folks it's like some kind of little Trail right here. I don't know if it's a deer trail or animal trail or what. We've got this plane here starting to bud. Little bridge here is like a little wetlands, marshy kind of area. Over in there. Another unofficial trail. I found that Green Lane has a lot of these little trails that go off on their own. We've done one or two before, but one of them was to save some time because it was about ready to rain. Heard a little bit of thunder, so we uh, hightailed it through one of those, and it really wasn't that bad at all. So we crossed the road, got past that unofficial trail. Now we're headed up a little bit of a hill, not much. And we're going to line to the left here. And I believe this will be our uh, entry into the uh, lakeshore area. After walking through this uh, grassy area here. Honeysuckle Trail, which is the one that goes down closer to the lake. So let's go do that. So we're going to abandon the red trail for now. We'll be hooking up with it down that way further. But we will take the Honeysuckle Trail. Uh, honeysuckle Trail is supposed to go close to the water and run along and kind of go back the way we came. Unless we missed the entry point for it somewhere. And I don't know. Let's go down here a little bit and see. Maybe... 
wraps down next to the water and then we walk along the water it seemed like it was going to be like that that's what i'm hoping for hmm. uh, oh yeah there it is i bet you they're called some kind of bells they have to be <laughs> or trumpets or something like that because man that is pretty Beautiful color. Oh my gosh, it's like neon almost. Little switch back here. Down closer to the water. Virginia bluebells, Virginia Blue Mrs. Lumberjack said. They are beautiful here in Pennsylvania. Oh, and a bumblebee on top of it. They're all over this. Beautiful view of the lake. My, my, my. My. Now, when we were on the blue trail, beating it out to the uh, boat launch and that side, we were all the way over there. This little island over here, whatever this is, we haven't been on that part. Oh, in fact, that it is. I, now I see the boat launch is over there. Never mind. There it is. Straight ahead. birds we hear a frog croaking so we stumble upon some old stoneworks back in there so here's a good vantage point we stumble upon an area with a view without any trees obstructing it Pretty calm waters today, folks. It was windy all weekend, and now it's calmed down big time. Right next to the lake. Gorgeous. I imagine soon enough we'll be heading back to the uh, paved path, because this doesn't go all the way. Uh, out to Knight Road. I'm sorry, out to uh, Ward Road. But we're enjoying it while we can. Headed into a woodsy kind of area. Still lakes over there, but we're bending away from it a little bit. Well, this is certainly more than I expected. I expected just a flat walk and none of this. I expected nature, you know, like meadow kind of stuff and all that. Did not expect this wonderful, wonderful trail. The uh, honeysuckle trail. I knew it went close to water. Did not expect it to be quite so awesome. Back on the gravel. Back on the gravel we go. So, the trail's taking us right along this little, uh, I guess, inlet that comes off of the main lake, which is out that way. It stretches back up. Well, we're not completely sure because there's a lot of bush shrubbery and whatnot here. It might wrap around me. That's an island in the center. Kind of don't know. Almost seems like it ends, but I guess we won't know until we get around. Yeah. Maggie just scrambled down over the guardrail. And... There's an unofficial trail straight ahead there. 
and the red goes this way. And I see, oh wow, that's weird. Then they're gonna have to go back to the right. Where it took us out, and we're walking now along Night Road, we kind of backtrack, come around. And uh, shortly we should be coming up on this bridge, or the, or the bridge. Come up on this parking area along Night Road. And you could break this up a little bit. Of course, from out closer to uh, 29, where we originally parked, it would be a longer walk to the parking lot than from Ward Road to this parking lot. But uh, you could break it up. If you were just interested in walking across the bridge and maybe checking out the views from there and all that, this would be a nice spot to park since Ward Road gets pretty full because it's right on the bridges basically. In fact, uh, as soon as you walk out of the parking lot down to the road, you're probably 100 yards from the bridge. So now we will have Macadam all the way through up until uh, the Ward Road parking lot. This is the view we got from this area. And of course, way across over there was when we were on the Blue Trail coming out of the Ward parking lot. Ward Road parking lot. And I can see the railing up there that starts when you get ready to go over the bridge. But you can get some really good views out here. And of course, if you go across 663, follow Night Road, going straight ahead and cross 663, make the first right after you cross 663, you go to another part of uh, the lake here. There's no trails there, but they've seen eagles out there and different raptors and whatnot. Oh, Borman Family Cemetery. It's the only marker left. Assisting me after construction in 1999. That makes sense of what I was saying because in 92 when I first started working out here, I don't remember all this trail and stuff. Keep me enclosed forever. Huh. We're gonna make our way across the bridge. Which actually really doesn't start till up further. They give us this uh, trail away from the road so we're not walking in there. Probably going to some fishing. Sound of the screen. And behind them is uh, some of the other trails we walk. Nice little vantage point here. It is indeed. Thanks for watching. If you like this kind of stuff, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, please comment, and uh, share if you will. We'll see you next time on Lumberjack in the Woods.